The 2022 Oklahoma football season kicks off with a week one matchup against UTEP. Here's a quick breakdown of each team's current status, keys to victory, and final prediction for the game. Let's start with Oklahoma. We are all well aware of the soap opera reality show that the Oklahoma Sooners offseason was. So here are the spark notes. Lincoln Riley packs his bags in the middle of the night and ran off to sunny Southern California taking staff and notably quarterback Caleb Williams with him. Former defensive coordinator Brent Venables replaces him, Dylan Gabriel replaces Williams, and offensive coordinator Jeff Levy hops on board, a culture change ensues, and Sooner Nation is revitalized, at least for now. Despite Riley leaving and some players jumping ship, the cupboard is far from Baron Norman. Three starters along the offensive line return to try to keep Gabriel's jersey clean, as well as Braden Willis, who fits the mold of a jack-of-all-trades tight end. Other returning players are looking to have breakout seasons as well, including running back Eric Gray and wide receiver Marvin Mims, both of whom I feel were underutilized in a disappointing fashion throughout last season. Defense has been the sticking point for the Sooners over the past few years, and although they only returned three starters from last season, a combination of underclassmen, transfers, and veterans with limited playing experience should step into key roles to fill those gaps. With Venables at the helm, the defense should be in good hands, although there might be some growing pains early on. The expectations are always high in Norman, and despite the transition, this season will be no different. Compete for a Big 12 title and a spot in the college football playoff. On the flip side, UTEP had the breakout year they were looking for last season, finishing with their first winning record since 2014. They hope to carry that momentum into this season, but will face a tough test in Norman. The good news for the Miners is that they return a bunch of starters on both sides of the ball. On offense, junior quarterback Gavin Hardison led UTEP with over 3,200 passing yards and 18 touchdowns last year. The right side of the offensive line also returns, including three honorable mention All-Conference USA linemen. And if they can protect him well, he should be able to improve on what was a solid 2021 campaign. Defensively, UTEP will look to replace some losses in the secondary, but brings experience in across the rest of the front. Defensive end and all-conference selection praise Amawule will lead a unit that was a big part of the Miners' turnaround last year. UTEP is looking to have back-to-back -back winning seasons for the first time since 04-05. They sit at 0-1 so far after a 31-13 loss to North Texas, a game where they got shut out in the second half. Major improvements will need to be made before they make the trip to Norman this week. Keys to Victory If UTEP wants to pull off an upset, a big part of their success will hinge on chunk plays. Last season, UTEP capitalized on explosive plays, while the Oklahoma defense ranked 83rd in 50-plus yard plays allowed. The Miners will need to make the Sooner defense pay for every single mistake. If Oklahoma gets out to a big lead early, you might as well unhitch the wagon and put the ponies in the barn. It is vital that UTEP stays within striking distance. They were able to do that against North Texas, but unfortunately it still didn't go their way. If they can't keep the first half tight in Norman, expect to see some backups in action. UTEP hasn't played a team the caliber of Oklahoma since playing number 7 Oklahoma in 2017, but to hang with the big boys, you can't be intimidated by the moment. UTEP is going to need to play above and beyond their capabilities to steal this game. The crowd will be electric. The entire state has been waiting for Sooner football. With all the craziness the offseason came with, it united Sooner Nation. And the expectations that come with it are large for the program. If this team can drown out all that outside noise, this should be an easy win. One of the most frustrating aspects of last season was a reliance on throwing the football at times, straying away from the balance of running and passing that had made the Oklahoma offense such a problem for opposing defenses. Dylan Gabriel steps into the starting quarterback role in Norman as a proven commodity. We all know he can sling the rock. But balance on the offensive side of the ball is going to be vital throughout the season. I'm expecting offensive coordinator Jeff Levy to call a great game, but if Oklahoma airs it out way more than they pound the rock, I might break out in a sweat. Last year, Oklahoma had national championship aspirations, led by a Heisman favorite at quarterback. But the team didn't look the part in Game 1, nearly dropping a home game that should have been on the road against Tulane. While expectations may be tempered slightly in Norman, starting the year with a statement will be vital this season for the fans and program. Get out front early and build the lead late. UTEP isn't a bad team, but there are levels in college football. The Sooners should take care of business in front of their home fans, winning this game 45-10. If you want to take a closer look at Oklahoma quarterback Dylan Gabriel, check out this video here. And as always, have a great day and see y'all at the next one.